So let me do this and the next three questions in a group uh, because they are mainly kind of formula application, um, number sense kind of questions. They are relatively simple, so I don't need to scroll. I can use Zoom annotation tool to write on the board, write on my screen here. So, um, so let me do them together so that the, the, the homework helper video that comes out of this will be of a reasonable length, not, you know, not just a one minute. So this question says, electron volt is a unit of energy defined using properties of the electron. For example, for one electron volt or one EV is the amount of change in potential energy. Okay, let's just start writing that. Amount of change in potential energy that an electron goes undergoes when it goes through a voltage change of one volt. Ah. So here you kind of have to start remembering some of the things you learned in physics 4B. So in physics 4B, you, talk to, you run, learned about electric potential energy. And electric potential energy comes from, uh, one of the ways you can get at it is by amount of charge times electric potential, like voltage. Uh, that gives you electric potential energy. So when you want to calculate the amount of change in potential energy that an electron undergoes when it goes through a voltage change of one volt, it's going to be um, amount of charge that's going to be one elementary charge times amount of voltage change that'll be change of one volt. And uh, I guess that's it. And we are saying that uh, uh, this is equal to 1 EV. And EV is kind of exactly what it looks like. You can imagine this being, you know, that 1 EV is E times V. And imagine there being um, 1 in front of that V. Yeah, that is exactly what it is we start out that way. So, uh, so all we have to do to answer this question is calculate one EV in SI unit. And this is where Oframm Alpha is super helpful. I can just uh, type in what I want to calculate. One elementary charge times one volt. And it will give me a bunch of answers. One of them will be one EV. And yeah, one, oh, wait, that's not there. Yeah, one EV. And another of the answers will be in joules, the basic SI unit of energy. So it's going to be 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19. 1.602. And that this number, numerical value comes down to that's the elementary charge in Coulombs. And I remember um, quantum mechanics class I took, upper division. And I was new in college. I wasn't quite... Um, Familiar with all the problem solving techniques I am now, and you know, in the midterm exam, I saw like a, a energy unit of EV, and I didn't have that in my formula card. So I was asking professor, uh, "Can you give us the conversion factor from EV to joule?" And he, his answer was, uh, "You don't need it." <laughs> and, um, and I forget if I got the question right, but yeah, you don't need a conversion factor from electron volt to joules as long as you know what the uh, amount of electron charge is. You know, one point six zero two times ten to the minus nineteen coulomb. So, all right, that's the first question. Let's uh, get to the second question, and I won't need these uh, because um, these are basically a uh, relativistic. Uh, um, Relativistic formula questions. Um, so it's asking, find the momentum of a helium nucleus having a, okay, we're even being given the mass that is moving at some speed. Ah, okay. So um, the, it, it's just having us uh, um, apply the relativistic formulas. So we have for relativistic momentum, that's given by gamma mv. So um, I feel like because we are going to be given these terms, um, how should I do it? Uh, let's just do everything in one shot. So I'm going to write out what gamma is in terms of V. In terms of V, gamma is 1 over square root of 1 minus. And actually, let me do it this way. Um, instead of writing V separate, uh, let me use this convention. We have um, this convention where V is equal to beta C. Beta is basically unitless velocity. Or more precisely, it's a velocity specified where 
the number you are specifying is a fraction of speed of light. So in terms of beta, gamma is 1 over square root of 1 minus beta squared. And let me rewrite the rest that way. m times beta c times some direction for the uh, uh, head uh, unit vector for the direction. So with that, I think I have everything I need to plug in. So as I plug in the numbers into from alpha, I already have a beta that I want to plug in, 0 0.206. I have mass in the uh, unit of kilogram, and I will have to make sure I have the speed of light at the end. Otherwise, I won't get the final answer in the unit of um, kilogram times meter per second. So let me type that in. Um, so 1 over square root of 1 minus beta squared, 0 0.206 squared times the mass, 6.67, times 10 to the power of minus 27 kilogram, times beta again, 0 0.206, times the speed of light. So that should be the relativistic momentum here. And it's a kind of a number sense question, because when you're dealing with the things that are actually moving at relativistic speeds, they are subatomic, microscopic. Uh, the momentum ends up still being pretty small. Yeah, 10 to the minus 19, that matches. So the uh, leading part is 4.29. Yeah, pretty small number. Um, so I'm used to these quantities being listed in what I call electron volt units. Uh, those are the units more commonly used. So, you know, the electron volt unit, uh, I guess the unit of energy is obvious. So energy is going to be uh, electron volts. But you can also specify momentum and other stuff, uh, and mass in electron volt units. So in electron volt units, momentum would be in units of electron volt per C. Mass would be in units of electron volt per C squared. And if you work through the units, you will see that, yeah, this is equivalent of the SI unit of kilogram times meter per second. And this is equivalent to SI unit of kilogram. So, okay. Uh, let's look at the next question for number sense. And we are still using relativistic momentum, so let me erase some of the stuff that we don't need. Okay, I think uh, that's uh, where we need to be in terms of quantity we need. So it says answer below questions regarding relativistic momentum. Great, great that I already have relativistic momentum formula. Note electron S, okay, so when we need a mass, that's what we'll use. What is the momentum of an electron traveling at this beta? Okay, I think I can do that. Uh, I can just replace the beta here with that new number, 9995. Uh, momentum of an electron, okay, I need the mass of the electron. 0 0.911 times 10 to the power of minus 30 kilogram times the uh, beta, 9995 times the speed of light. Okay, that should be good. So the electron momentum is again a super tiny quantity. The whole purpose of this uh, question is to familiarize you with these uh, typical numbers you will see. So I think what I need to refer to is uh, 8.633 times 10 to the minus 20. One, I want this to be 10 to the minus 20, which means um, I need to kind of work this out. So I have uh, the actual answer of 8.633 times the 10 to the minus 21 uh, kilogram meter per second. Then I need to express that in terms of 10 to the minus 20 uh, kilogram meter per second. I would say you can do a trial and error. Um, you know, how would uh, uh, how would this have to change? So that you can change the exponent there without actually changing the number. And I think the correct answer ends up being 0 0.8633 times uh, 10 to the minus 20 should be the same as that. Yeah, so, so let me put that in here. So the answer they are looking for is 0 0.8633. Let me make sure that's the correct answer. Good. If a one gram pitch ball has the same momentum as the electron in A, how fast is it moving? <laughs> All right, I gotta solve it backward, right? 
Uh, so I think uh, I'm going to make a wild guess that this uh, pith ball will be at non-relativistic speed, which means I can do this much simpler formula. So I can say momentum of the pitch ball is, uh, momentum of that is mass times uh, velocity. Yeah, so I'm going to express the momentum of the pith ball in the, uh, in the non-relativistic mechanics, but we are saying same momentum as the electron in A. Okay, so we can use this. So I guess this is what I end up saying. So we are really trying to relate to velocity. I can say in non-relativistic mechanics, mass times velocity is, uh, well, that is mv. <laughs> Let me set that equal to the electron momentum, 8.633 times 10 to the minus 21. And uh, when you look at kilogram times a meter per second, there's a one for the mass and there's a one for velocity. That, um, so for the p speed of the pith ball, I'm solving for V. I'm just saying, okay, so V is equal to this value divided by mass um, in kilograms. So let's do that. So V is 8.633 times 10 to the minus 21. Okay, that's the right hand side there. So I'm solving for V, M yeah, goes there. So to, for that M, I have to use the one gram pith ball. So it's gonna be this thing divided by one gram times 10 to the power of uh, minus three. So, okay, so that's the number. Let me plug it in and verify. 8.633 times 10 to the minus 18, but okay. Uh, Wait, that doesn't sound right. Uh, so, okay, so I have a 8.633 times 10 to the minus 18, but I already have times 10 to the minus 15 in the question. So I need to basically have a version of the answer here that if I multiply by 10 to the minus 15, that would give me this number. So I think that's gonna be 8.63 times 10 to the minus three. Because when you multiply that, you're just subtracting 15 from the numerator. Um, so let me submit that and hope that that's correct. Yeah. All right. So with that, uh, so we are switching over to the fourth question, which is the um, the problem set three dash two. And uh, let me uh, just clear all the drawings. Okay. So this is the last of the group of the four questions. Um, 3-2, yeah. So, um, and this question asks, what is the rest energy of a proton? Give your answer in two different units. Proton has mass of that. Okay. So rest energy of the anything. Um, we ha you have this formula. Um, rest uh, energy is equal to mc squared. By the way, when people say E is equal to mc squared, that bothers me because E is equal to gamma mc squared. That's the relativistic energy formula. But anyways, <laughs> so yeah, rest energy is equal to mc squared. So I think uh, with Ulfram alpha, I think I can just do that in one shot because all I have to do is mass 1.67 times 10 to the power of minus 27 kilogram times speed of light squared. I think that should be the answer. It's just going to give me a bunch of different units. Uh, so in the um, basic SI unit, uh, yeah, 10 to the minus 10. Okay, good. So 1.501 times 10 to the minus 10 joules. 1.51. Uh, in electron volts, the rest energy of the proton is um, MeV, 936.8. Okay, um, that seems right. Yeah, so that's it. That's uh, the... Last of the four questions, uh, pretty simple. They're kind of the number sense questions. So I found it's useful to have memorized that uh, the rest energy of the proton is about a thousand MeV or about one GeV. So number sense again.